Hello everybody, this is another Hot Wheels Collector video. Today we're going to be reacting to the 2023 Hot Wheels Q case. This is an exciting one to react to because this is the last case of 2023 and then we will be into the 2024 A case. So let's begin this reaction and I'll talk about the Solero GT. This is a recolor of the previous grey one returning from the previous case. This one is also a recolor, the Batman the Animated Series, debuted this year in purple. We also have some more fantasy there, nothing licensed there, and this one is also not licensed, the Lane Lowrider. <laughs> this is actually a pretty cool casting though, so I'm not going to lie, that's kind of sweet to see in this case. This is a new casting for this year, the Porsche 911 Turbo 3.6, 964, I'm pretty sure this is new for this case, although it may have been in the previous, I'm not entirely sure, but that's done very nicely in a black colour. I really do like that tuned one actually, like really, that's an awesome one I think. The Mad Manga, that's a new recolor for this case, I think. In fact, I know it is. It definitely was not in the previous case. This one is returning from the previous case. This is the 57 Jeep FC. Very interesting. We've seen two new Jeep castings this year, which is very interesting. I wonder why they've made so many new Jeep castings. More fantasy stuff here. You can obviously take a look at that on the screen now. And um, yeah, so this case is pretty interesting. It's obviously got your last stuff from this year. There's not a whole lot of new stuff. This one obviously coming from the previous case as well, the 67 Dodge Charger. This is a new recolor. I'm pretty sure this is new for this case. And this is the Audi 90 Quattro recolor in red. Debuted as a new cast in this year in white. So it's kind of just had its colors flipped. Very interesting design there. I actually do like this one quite a lot too. I think this is one of the nicest castings from this year as a new casting. The Jeep Scrambler returned from the previous case as well. Very nice tampo work on that one and everything else. And this one's also returned from the previous, the 71 Plymouth GTX. Obviously debuted in an orange colour this year, now in a blue colour. Some more fantasy stuff, you could obviously take a look at that if you are interested. This is a nice new recolour of the Volkswagen Baja Bug. And this is actually the treasure hunt for this case, which is very cool to see. Last year, I know it was in two colours, and I know there was definitely like a bluey, kind of turquoise colour. Now it's done in this nice red with a very similar tampo work, so very nicely done there. I do like that one a lot. This one's also returning from the previous case, the 92 Dodge Viper RT. Very nice car there. That is a right, really nice retool of that cast and it really did need it. It kind of looked tuned, so even the Hot Wheels team knew that, so they have retuned it this year. And it did debut in the last case, as I've said, and this is just a carryover, so if you do miss it, in the P case, you could obviously get it in the Q case. There should be two of them in this box. Some more recolors of some uh, fantasy stuff. This one's quite a nice recolor, and this is actually quite a nice casting as a fantasy car. The limited grip looks quite cool, actually. This is quite a cool recolor as well. The Dodge Charger Drift in white. This year it was in green. That's what it debuted in, and now has gone to white. This is also a nice recolor. The Koenigsegg Dromera. It was in yellow this year, and now it is in this lovely metallic red. I'm pretty sure this is new for this case, so really cool to see that. It does look amazing on that car. Some more fantasy stuff, very interesting. Helicopter there. And this is also a new recolor. So this year it debuted in a cream colour, now it is in this dark red colour. I think this one suits it really nicely as well. And obviously this was a new cast in last year, which debuted in a reddy colour. Yeah, a metallic reddy colour. And then it went to silver. This is also a new recolor, and I actually really love this one. This is the 1957 or 1956 even Corvette. It debuted in pink and is now in a baby blue color. Obviously for the Barbie movie. Honda Super Cup Custom. So overall, I really do like this case. I think there's quite some nice stuff in here. And uh, the recolors are on point. There's not one bad recolor, I don't think, which is nice to see. And I think all the recolors that have been found in this case are actually better than the originals, or at least on the same standard as the originals. I think the 90 Quattro is um, just an amazing casting, and I'm happy to see that recolored. Speaking of an amazing new casting for this year, this is the recolor of the Alfa Romeo GTV 3.0 liter what a nice recolor so it debuted in red as a new casting this year and now is in white and both of them look absolutely amazing i think i still do prefer the red but that white one is going to be amazing so if you do miss that debut casting you can always get yourself a white one 
some more fantasy stuff so you can obviously take a look at, at that if you are interested there is quite a lot of fantasy stuff in this case I will say that that is a shame however I think uh, a few of the previous cases have actually had a lot of licensed stuff there's another one of them Koenigsegg Jamera Ray colours again that colour is absolutely phenomenal I really like that look and there's that 1956 Corvette recolor. That baby blue just suits this car amazingly, in my opinion. And uh, it's great to see that car. I'm pretty sure it's a new casting. Pretty sure. I'm not 100% sure, but I think that it might be a new casting for this year. Um, similar to the 2024 Hummer EV. It's actually a different casting to just the GMC Hummer um, that they have also done. Uh, so they are two different castings. The roof is different, uh, quite different, actually. So, yes. Anyways, continuing, this is a really interesting one, and it is actually licensed. This is the Classic 55 Nomad. I do not have this cast, and I've never seen it before, so this is an interesting one. The livery is kind of suiting this car, not going to lie. It's obviously a classic car with a classic look. And this is also another recolor. So this one is the 94, or the 84, sorry, Pontiac Firebird. What an amazing ray colour. Both of the colours this year have been solid. Obviously it debuted in a metallic blue. Now it is in a white and dark blue colour scheme. This is returned from the previous case, the 80 El Camino in green, or a metallic green I should say. And this is also a really nice ray colour, the 84 Audi Sport Quattro done in white. I'm pretty sure that's from the previous as well. And so is this. This is from the previous, the 82 Cadillac Seville. Obviously debuted in that uh, brownie colour. And now it is in that blue one. And it also had a Target exclusive, I think. A Target Red Edition, which was white and red. Really interesting. Ford F-150 Lightning Custom, coming from the previous case. A really nice new casting. And there's another one of them Porsches, if you want to have another look at it. I think that's an actually really cool tuned car. I think uh, what Hot Wheels should be doing with the tuned stuff is licensed cars. I think that will actually get people purchasing them because I know people are going crazy over that new Toyota Super Tuned. It's flying off the pegs and has a lot of value. This is also coming from the previous case, the Mitsubishi Pajero Evo recolor. Obviously debuted in red, now is in that white colour. And there's that Subaru, we've just seen it before, but I will say that's coming from the previous case as well. I know that that was in a purplish colour and then it went to a white and then it went to this grey. This is also a really nice car, so this is a 64 Lincoln Continental. I don't know, I think this might... But is it a re... Is it a recall or is this a new cast? And somebody can probably let me know, I'm not 100% sure on that one. But it is an interesting design, it looks very much like a lowrider. And I don't even know if it's going to fit in the creative option organisers. I will have to find that out once this cast hits the stores. This is a new casting for this case, and the big new cast, and I love this thing. Land Rover Series 3 or Series 2? Series 2, not the Series 3. I don't know what I'm saying with that. Really cool new casting. Doesn't have any roof or anything. Looks wild. Really interesting new casting. I was not expecting that one. I don't think anybody was. But I'll absolutely take it. It's a really nice looking off-roader and has a very standard looking paint job with that army kind of green. Um, obviously an amazing little thing. Honestly, I can't wait to get that one. Looks awesome. And this will be the super treasure hunt in this case. The Volvo 240 Drift Wagon. Really cool recolor of this. We did see it last year. I'm pretty sure it was a new cast in then in red. Now it's in this green. It looks very much more of a drift car, I think, this year than last year. With those mismatched wheels and all that type of stuff. That is the super treasure hunt from the, new the previous case, sorry. The Datsun. Uh, wagon. I think it's amazing. Even the regular version of that Datsun looks amazing with the new rims that they came out with this year. And this is a nice one too, the GMC Hummer EV. I was just talking about this one because this is actually a different casting to the Barbie Hummer. So yes, there are differences. Make sure you grab them both if you're uh, looking for two different castings. This is an interesting one as well, the McLaren Solus GT. I have no clue about this car in real life. Looks really interesting. I never knew it even existed. I definitely don't have this casting, and I'm really excited to get this one, it looks awesome. There's another one of them, new castings. Interestingly, there's actually two in this case. It's very unusual for that to happen, usually you get one in the first hit, or wave, and then you get uh, more in the second case after it, when it carries over. But in this case, it's just, you get two of them, or at least in this exact box we're looking at here, maybe it was just kind of like an error and there wasn't supposed to be two of them in there. There's another one of them Dodge Vipers. 
really nice uh, recoup tool there. And the color choice on it's great too, as a debut retool. Obviously not a new casting per se, but obviously retool means they've kind of changed elements and kind of recasted it sort of. Pretty much they made the wheels smaller and made it more to scale, essentially. Honda Super Cub, um, there you go, you can have obviously a look at that, I'm not interested in the motorbikes, but you might be, so have a take a look at that if you're interested. Alright, now this is the Batmobile animated series again, obviously recolor for this case, it might have been the previous as well, but I do know that it debuted in purple, or pink, it was kind of in between those two colours. The Mad Mike Drift Attack, what an interesting car, I don't know if this is licensed, it might be, it looks absolutely amazing, and honestly, it does, it just looks great. It kind of looks like a Noble from the front, if you guys know what a Noble is, um, it's a car that's made here in the UK. It definitely has that design aspect to it, so honestly, that's really tempting. And there's obviously another McLaren Solus GT. So that is it for the Q case of 2023. Obviously, you guys can let me know what you think in the comments, and I will mention, I didn't at the beginning but it will pop up on the screen make sure to check out the original video please 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 do it if it is the first thing you do after watching this video it is by WS Mart Diecast and honestly I cannot give enough credit to him because honestly all the footage is from him I'm just kind of commentating and giving my thoughts and opinions so I'm actually gonna give my thoughts and opinions on the case and I'll give you obviously my final score out of 10 I score everything that I review out of 10 and this is no exception so what do I think of this case? I think this is an absolutely great one. It brings a lot of nice new stuff in. Lots of nice new recolors, actually. There was not one recolor where I was like, oh, I prefer the original. That blue CRX, which was featured in the previous case, or maybe a couple cases before, it might have been a couple now. It's quite hard to keep track because there's so many new cases coming out at the minute, or at least the videos. And loads of the new cases are actually hitting the UK right now. But uh, that blue CRX, I did not like and I said the original in the grey was nicer but this case does not have any recolors where I'm like I prefer the original one that was found you know earlier in the year tons of nice stuff tons of stuff you should definitely get excited about and tons of stuff to hunt for to be entirely honest that new Land Rover I don't see it being the most popular thing but definitely don't sleep on it because it's gonna command value I think in the future because this is car it's already a classic in real life and I know here in the UK it probably will be quite popular actually, but elsewhere in the world, probably not. In fact, I know it won't be. It will be probably one of the peg warmers, even though it's a new casting, unfortunately. But I absolutely love this case. I really do love that new casting, and I think this is one of the nicer cases of this year. Definitely. 100%. There's nothing where I'm like, that's not great. Obviously, all the uh, fantasy stuff is not ideal, but that is just something you're going to have to live with if you collect Hot Wheels mainlines, and even some of the premium stuff gets fantasies from time to time, unfortunately. But there you go, I'm going to rate this case out of 10, then I'm going to be out of here, so what I'm going to give this case out of 10, it's going to be getting a solid 9 out of 10. I really just, I think it's just a humble case full of nice goodies. There's nothing bad, there's nothing, well there is actually amazing stuff to be entirely honest, that new cast, and I really do love it. But yeah, just amazingly perfect to be honest this is like what we want from Hot Wheels cases in my opinion some really nice stuff I don't even have already so I will definitely be hunting those down but anyways that is it for this video so if you guys did enjoy make sure you like if you're new to the channel subscribe remember you can also share this video with any friends family or in any groups who may be interested in this video also check out the original video by WS Mark Diecast definitely somebody you should be watching the videos of he makes so much different stuff about diecast stuff case unboxings um, Tons. It's just amazing. So make sure you check out that channel. You have got to do that. Please do. And yeah, that's really it for this video. Remember, obviously, if you don't have anybody to share this video with, don't feel pressured to. You watching this video all the way to the end means so much to me, and I really do thank you for making it all the way up until this point. But anyways, that is it for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye, everyone.